think fashion magazines play such a huge role. Magazines allowed me to kind of see people that looked more like me. You have to have more voices. Representation in front of the camera is important. The representation behind the camera is even more important. One of the functions of journalism in this moment is to offer a fuller picture of power. Who has it? Who doesn't have it? And what the costs of that have been. Photography can take us anywhere in that infinite world of stories and it gives you an empathy that you could have never imagined. Great writing ideally helps people make sense of the world. Sports photography is my life. And that's what I've been inspired by, freezing time. Part of my job is to shed light on stories that have been kept in the dark. The container for these stories is changing. If we have a place to go to that we can trust to hold all those stories, that is going to help. Apple News Plus, I'd like to invite up Roger Rosner, Vice President of Applications. Roger? I'm thrilled to tell you about the new service we're bringing to Apple News. Our goal for Apple News Plus was simple. We wanted to create the best magazine reading experience ever for a mobile device. Apple News Plus will bring you over 3,000 magazines across all, so, sorry, 300 magazines across all sorts of topics like entertainment, fashion, news and politics. We've got great health magazines and great lifestyle magazines. We've got magazines for travelers, magazines for foodies, Magazines for gearheads. We've got magazines for just about every passion under the sun. And Apple News Plus is the only place where you will find all these magazines in a single package. <laughs> to show it to you, I'd like to invite up Wyatt Mitchell, Apple's Director of Design for Applications. Thank you, Roger. Let's take a look at the new Apple News Plus. It all starts with the same great Apple News free experience. And that means it's got top stories, it's got trending stories, and here are my personalized recommendations and for you. With an Apple News Plus subscription, the experience gets even better. It means I get the latest magazines. With this design, we wanted to add the best of the magazine experience into the app. And that starts with the covers. We wanted to make them even more inviting and entrance into another world. So we created the live cover. Check this one out from National Geographic. It's an amazing aerial view. It's an amazing aerial view of Sydney, Australia, and what looks like an incredible issue. So let's take a look. When I tap on the cover, I'm taken to the table of contents, where I can see all the articles in the issue. I can jump to whichever one I'm interested in, like this. And here I land in a National Geographic article, beautifully designed, and full of amazing infographics. Apple News Plus makes the experience of diving into an issue even more fun and exciting. It's really like having National Geographic designed for my phone. And to get more, I can just tap on the table of contents, or I can browse the issue by simply swiping from article to article, like this. I can read full magazine issues, no matter where or when, right on my phone. All right, let me get back to the Today tab. 
There are more recommendations of articles and issues here, but the place to explore all magazines is the News Plus tab. Here, we wanted to design a home dedicated to everything about enjoying magazines. I can easily find my favorite titles right here in my magazines. The National Geographic I was just looking at. Here's one of my all-time favorites, The New York. I'll also see suggestions like popular science here, based on my interests. And recent issues are automatically downloaded, so I'll already have them before I board a flight. Scrolling down, here's one of our first looks. It's the new cover of Rolling Stone featuring some of the stars of Game of Thrones. Now, everything here is curated by the Apple News editors and personalized, which makes it really easy to discover a great article or explore a topic. Like this group of travel stories recommended for me. I've been reading a lot about Costa Rica, recent, Costa Rica recently, and while I'm not a regular reader of Marie Claire, I can see that News Plus is recommending their article on traveling there, which is really smart and really great. I'll also see featured articles, like this one from Wired magazine. And new issues, like this one from Essence, with Issa Rae on the cover. Now, along with the cover, I can see a few articles from the issue, which makes it really easy to browse. Now, I'm going to tap on this cover story because I'm a big fan of her show, Insecure. And here we enter another beautifully designed article. Design plays such a big part of magazines, we really wanted to give the titles their ability to express their own unique look and feel through their design, typography, and photography. And this is really a great example of it. This is Essence designed for the phone. So it looks great here on the phone. Let's take a look at it on an iPad. I'm going to open up the same article on the iPad. And as you can see, the article looks fantastic here, too, and nicely adapted to the larger size. And just like on the phone, I can always tap on the table of contents to navigate to another article. I'm going to try this beauty story. And here we have a beautiful photo essay. The iPad really shows off great photography like this. Now, if I'm looking for something specific or just wanting to browse, I can navigate to the full breadth, breadth of the catalog by just tapping here at the top. And here I have hundreds and hundreds of magazines. I can find my sports, my music, my travel. I can find the entire newsstand that Tim referred to right here on my iPad. And that's the new <laughs> Apple News Plus, the best mobile magazine experience ever. Back to you, Roger. Thank you, Wyatt. I think Apple News Plus is awesome. No one has ever made digital magazines as gorgeous and readable as this. Whether you like to read whole issues cover to cover or individual articles, Apple News Plus is the best way to read magazines on your device. But Apple News Plus is about more than magazines. Apple News Plus also includes some of the most popular premium digital subscriptions like the Skim. But we didn't stop there. Apple News Plus also includes the country's largest metropolitan newspaper and a rising star, the LA Times. And I'm super proud to announce that Apple News Plus also includes one of the world's top newspapers, the Wall Street Journal. And of course, Apple News Plus is built on a foundation of expert human curation and industry-leading personalization. So finding what you're looking for in that incredible collection of content is as easy as launching Apple News. When we announced Apple News, we told you we designed it to be private from the ground up, and that's still true, and it's even more important today. So sometimes people ask us, how do we recommend the best articles for you without compromising your privacy? The answer is we download groups of articles from our servers, and then we use on-device intelligence to make recommendations. And that means we don't know what you read, and in addition to that, we don't allow advertisers to track you.
So what you read about in Apple News will not follow you across the web. So Apple News Plus, over 300 great magazines, the Wall Street Journal, the LA Times, those great premium digital subscriptions, there's literally never been an offer like this before. If you were to subscribe to all of these individually, it would cost you over $8,000 per year. But with Apple News Plus, you pay $9.99 per month. And that's not just for you. We thought this was so important. We decided to make this available to your entire family with family sharing at no extra charge. Each person in your family gets full access to that incredible catalog on their own devices with their own favorites and their own personal recommendations. It's an amazing value. Apple News Plus is available today. Just download today's updates of iOS and Mac OS and launch Apple News. And the first month is free. And in addition to launching in the US, I'm happy to say we're also bringing Apple News and Apple News Plus to Canada in both English and in French. And we're adding over 30 great Canadian magazines to Apple News Plus, along with the top newspaper in Canada, The Star. And later this year, we'll be bringing Apple News Plus to Australia, and we'll be coming to Europe, starting with the UK. So that's Apple News Plus, a premium subscription built right into Apple News that brings you the world's best publications all in one place. Built on the principles that guide all of our services, we are super excited about this. We hope you like it. Thanks so much. This is really important to us. We believe in the power of journalism and the impact it can have on our lives. And we want to make a valuable contribution to the industry and to society as a whole. We think Apple News Plus is going to be great for customers and great for publishers. <laughs> now let's talk about Apple Pay. We launched Apple Pay with a vision to replace the wallet, and people are absolutely loving it. Apple Pay is the simplest, most secure, and private way to pay, and its growth has been literally off the charts. In fact, we're on target to surpass 10 billion transactions this year. This is huge. We're looking forward to a future where all payments are made this way. Now, retail acceptance of Apple Pay has already passed 70% in the United States, and it's even higher in many other countries, like Canada, the United Kingdom, and so many more which broadly accept Apple Pay. In Australia, we've achieved an amazing 99% acceptance. And we've been adding more and more countries, and by the end of this year, we expect that Apple Pay will be available in more than 40 countries. Pay has also made riding transit easier and more convenient than ever before. Every day, millions of customers in these cities use their iPhone or their Apple Watch to go quickly through the turnstiles and get on their way. And I'm excited to tell you that we're bringing Apple Pay to transit in major cities in the U.S., starting right here on the west coast of Portland and rolling out in Chicago and New York City later this year. So retail, transit apps, on the web, Apple Pay Cash, there's so many ways to use Apple Pay with its convenience, security, and privacy. And it's become the preferred way to pay for, for almost anything. But we want to take the Apple Pay experience even further. And we saw an opportunity to transform 
another fundamental need of payment, and that's the credit card. Now, with the success and momentum of Apple Pay, we've learned a lot about credit cards. While we all need them, there's some things about the credit card experience that could be so much better, like simplifying applications, eliminating fees, lowering interest rates, offering clear and compelling rewards, and of course, providing the security and the privacy that people have come to expect for Apple Pay. By bringing together our hardware, software, and services, we're going to do all of this and so much more changing the entire credit card experience. Today, we're introducing a brand new service and we call it Apple Card. <laughs> Apple Card was created by Apple and built on principles that we stand for, like simplicity and transparency and privacy. To tell you all about Apple Card, I'm very pleased to invite up Jennifer Bailey, Vice President of Apple Pay. Jennifer? Thank you. With Apple Card, we have completely rethought the credit card. A new kind of card that takes advantage of everything iPhone offers, is designed for a healthier financial life, and sets a new level for privacy and security. Apple Card is designed to take advantage of the power of the iPhone. This means it can do all sorts of things that no other credit card can do. For starters, you don't have to wait days to get your card. Just sign up on your iPhone, and in just minutes, you get your Apple Card, and you can start using it right away. You can use it worldwide anywhere with Apple Pay, in apps, in stores, on the web, and your Apple Card will be available across all of your Apple devices. Apple Card is also always with you because it's in your iPhone, in the Wallet app. And the Wallet app has completely new capabilities. So you can see everything you need to know about your Apple Card, like what you've spent, how much you've spent, where, and when your payment is due. We've also made it really easy to get help. With Apple Card, if you have a question, just text us right from messages. Everything from getting details on a transaction to letting us know your new address. It's as easy as messaging a friend. <laughs> Next, we've taken on an important challenge with Apple Card to help everyone live a healthier financial life. It starts with having a better understanding of your spending so you can make smarter choices with your money. Many of you looking at your credit card statements today might recognize seeing transactions that look like this. Cryptic merchant names that are pretty hard to decipher. With Apple Card, we use machine learning and Apple Maps to transform this mess into names and locations that you'll recognize. <laughs> Apple Card also automatically organizes and totals your purchases, so you can see how much you've spent and expend it with Apple Maps. And you can keep track of your spending by categories, like food and drink, shopping, entertainment, and more, where each category is represented by its own color, like orange for food and drink. And Apple Card also shows you how your spending is trending, week over week or month over month. So you can decide in real time if you need to or want to change your spending. Next up, let's talk about rewards. Most rewards programs use points. With points, you're never quite sure how much they're worth or where or when you can use them. With Apple Card, we want you to get the most for your money. So every time you spend with Apple Card, you get cash back and you get it every day. It's my favorite feature, and we call it Daily Cash. So when you're buying your morning coffee, shopping for groceries, and any time you pay using Apple Card, 
You get daily cash, not a month from now, but every day. So every day you spend, cash is added to your Apple Cash Card, which is also in the Wallet app. And it's cash, like real cash. So you can do anything with it. Use it to pay down your balance, spend it wherever you use Apple Pay, or send it to friends using messages. In fact, every time you pay with your iPhone or Apple Watch, you'll get 2% of the purchase amount in daily cash. And for purchases made directly from Apple, like from our Apple retail stores, from our app store, or, or when you purchase services like Apple Music or, Music or News Plus, you get 3% daily cash. And the amount of daily cash that you can receive every day is unlimited. So that's daily cash. Every day, cash for you. How great is that? Another area where we can make a really big impact in improving your financial health is helping you understand how much you owe and if you want to pay it back over time, how much it will cost you. This is how most cards show your payment options, with an emphasis on minimum payments, which cost you a fortune in interest and seem to be designed to keep you in debt. With Apple, Apple Card, our goal is to help you save on interest. So we start by making it easy to see a range of payment options. And because Apple Card calculates interest in real time, as you select different payment amounts, you can make a more informed payment decision, understanding the true cost. Another way to save on interest is to pay more often, say bi-weekly or weekly. So we've added the flexibility to schedule more frequent payments. And when we thought about a financially healthy credit card, all the fees and high interest rates that most banks charge are just not okay. So Apple Card does not have any fees, no late fees, no annual fees, no international fees, and no over-limit fees. No fees And our goal with Apple Card is to provide each customer with an interest rate that is among the lowest in the industry. Even if you miss a payment, we won't charge you a penalty rate like most banks do. Our goal is to make it easier for you to pay down your balance, not harder. To create a credit card, you need a bank. And to create a credit card as innovative as Apple Card, we needed a bank that was willing to do things that had never been done in the industry before. So we partnered with Goldman Sachs as the issuing bank of Apple Card. As a newcomer to consumer financial services, Goldman was up for the challenge of doing something more bold and innovative. We're also excited to be working with MasterCard, who has been a fantastic partner on Apple Pay from the start. With MasterCard's global payment network, Apple Card will be accepted all over the world. We also designed Apple Card to set a new level for privacy and security. Security is totally integrated throughout the hardware and software. When you get your Apple Card, a unique per device card number is created and stored safely in the secure element, a special security chip used by Apple Pay. Each payment includes a one-time dynamic security code which protects your card number from being used without your authorization. And every purchase is authenticated with Touch ID or Face ID. With all of these security features, Apple Card is the more secure way to pay. And Apple Card is designed with your privacy in mind. We created a unique ar architecture for Apple Card where Apple doesn't know what you bought, where you bought it, or how much you paid for it. So features like spend tracking and categorization all happen using on-device intelligence, not on Apple servers. And 
for Apple Card, Goldman Sachs will never share or sell your data to third parties for marketing or advertising. So that's Apple Card, designed for iPhone and a healthier financial life, and sets a new level for privacy and security. But that's not all. For those rare times when you happen to be somewhere where Apple Pay is not yet accepted, we designed something for that too. And you know, when we design something, we design it to be the best, and we'd like to show it to you now. The card is titanium, and your name is Leisure Eschonet. It's the most beautifully designed card ever. And your Apple card is more secure than others. It has no card number, no CVV, no expiration, and no signature. <laughs> of course, if you ever need that information, it's in the wallet app. As I noted earlier, you'll receive 3% daily cash for purchases made directly from Apple, 2% daily cash for Apple Pay, and when you make a purchase with this beautiful titanium Apple Card, you get 1% 1 1 daily cash. So that's Apple Card. There's never been a credit card like it before. Apple Card will be coming to the Wallet app in the U.S. this summer, and we think you're going to love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. With our hardware, with our hardware, software, and services, we think that Apple is uniquely positioned to make the most significant change in the credit card experience in 50 years, and we can't wait to get started. Now let's turn our attention to the App Store. Apps have reshaped the way that we work, connect, learn, and play. From day one, the App Store has been a safe and trusted place for users to discover and download apps. We review every single app before it goes live. We also have a team of expert editors creating rich editorial content and curated collections of the best apps. The App Store has become the essential destination to discover new apps, to learn more about the apps you already have, or just to meet the developers behind them. It's no wonder that the App Store is now visited by over a half a billion people each week. Now, the most popular category on the App Store is games. In fact, iOS has become the largest gaming platform in the world. Yeah. Yeah. We want to make gaming even better. To tell you more about what we have planned, I'm pleased to bring up Ann Ty, Senior Product Marketing Manager of the App Store. Ann? Thanks, Tim. Many games on the App Store are not just hits, but also cultural phenomena. You know about them regardless of whether you've played them. They become part of pop culture, like the many Fortnite emotes we've seen on the playing field. And to all of this is no surprise when there have been over one billion people who have downloaded games from the App Store. The App Store supports a vibrant gaming community of players of all ages and backgrounds from around the world. 
with a catalog of nearly 300,000 games. The App Store has both free and paid games. Free games are either supported by advertising or have in-app purchases, like Clash Royale. These are incredibly popular and hundreds of millions of people love playing them. With paid games, customers pay up front for the full experience, like Monument Valley 2. These games often have incredible stories and capture your imagination with their original art and music. They are some of the most critically acclaimed games ever made. But competing with free is hard. So these games haven't been as successful for developers and they haven't been as easy to find for players. We think we've come up with a great new way to bring more of these amazing games to more people than ever before. We are working with some of the most creative game developers in the world on a new kind of service designed specifically for games like these. A service that is giving them the freedom to do the best work of their lives. We call it Apple Arcade. Arcade is the world's first game subscription service for mobile, desktop, and living room. With Apple Arcade, we have created a collection of brand new games that redefine games. And we're not just parroting them, we're backing their development and our team is working closely with developers to bring these games to life. We are really excited about this and so are the creators we're working with. Let's hear from some of them now. an extraordinary time to be writing games. Beyond the Steel Sky is super ambitious in that it's taking a full, high-quality console game directly to mobile. We're working with the legendary comic book artist, Dave Gibbons, who co-created and drew Watchmen. The story, character modeling, graphics, the audio, all of those come together to create a gameplay experience that's completely immersive. Where Cards Fall tells a very personal coming-of-age story that other publishers wouldn't take a chance on. We're not shying away from uncomfortable, formative experiences. We see the characters at school, we see them at the homecoming dance, we see them have a fight with their mom. It's really important for us to be authentic. There's no guns, there's no killing, we're just telling a story. We're almost the complete opposite of the current market, and most people typically wouldn't see it unless Apple Arcade existed. ファンタジアンはこれまでは作れなかったゲームです。一つ一つで作るしなきゃいけなくて、前に全員がこう黒のレンズを作ったんです。背景にジオラマを使って、それを写真で取り込んで、その上をそのスリーキャラクターたちが
These developers are some of the greatest storytellers and artists in the world. From immersive AR to groundbreaking multiplayer, they're creating games that have never been possible before. These games are insanely fun and will appeal to the kid in all of us. And with Apple Arcade, you'll get to play all of these games. With a single subscription, you'll get access to over 100 new and exclusive games that will raise the bar for what's possible in gaming. You won't find these games on any other mobile platform or in any other subscription service. So how will you get to Apple Arcade? Apple Arcade will be a new area right on the App Store with its own dedicated tab. Rather than pay up front for each game, your subscription will allow you to download and play any Apple Arcade game from the App Store. And we'll be adding new games all the time. With full access to this amazing collection of new games, you'll have the freedom to try whatever you want, whenever you want. You'll be able to play Apple Arcade games across iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple TV, and pick up where you left off in a game, even if you switch devices. And unlike streaming services, every game will be playable offline. So you can play anywhere, regardless of your internet connection. <laughs> all Apple Arcade games will be all you can play, so all game features, content, and future updates will be included. There will be no ads and no additional purchases needed. And parents can manage their kids' access with our screen time features. Like all our products and services, we've designed Apple Arcade to be a great experience. The App Store already works hard to protect your privacy. With Apple Arcade, we're taking it even further. Apple Arcade games cannot collect any data about you nor track any information about how you play their games without your consent. Also, Apple Arcade will be curated by our team of expert editors, offer personalized recommendations, and your family will be able to enjoy it for no additional charge. We really think you're gonna love Apple Arcade, a game subscription service unlike any other. You'll enjoy over 100 amazing new and exclusive games, and more games will be added all the time. So, who's ready to see more of these incredible games? Here's a sneak peek of some of the games coming to Apple Arcade. will be available this fall in over 150 countries and regions around the world. Pricing and more details to come. And that's a sneak peek of Apple Arcade. Thank you, Ann. I can't wait until all of us can play. Now let's talk about TV. For over a decade, we've been bringing you innovative TV experiences, from the first TV shows that you could download right to your iPod, to the best-in-class cinematic picture and sound quality of today's Apple TV 4K. We've done it because we love TV. TV is more than just entertainment, it's cultural. TV at its best enriches our lives, and we can share it with people that we love. 
Today, there is so much to watch in more ways than ever before. And with so many choices, sometimes it's hard to know where to start. That's why we created the Apple TV app. It's one place to easily discover shows you'll love from over 150 streaming apps across your iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV 4K. In fact, our vision for Apple TV app is to bring together your favorite shows, movies, sports, and news, and make them available on all of your devices. So you can spend less time looking for something to watch and more time enjoying it. Today, we're excited to show you an all new Apple TV app. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to invite up Peter Stern, Vice President of Services. Peter? Thanks, Tim. Let's start with what you watch. Beginning with movies, all the new releases, and the massive iTunes movie catalog. Over 100,000 titles, plus your personal library, are now all built in to the Apple TV app. If you love movies, the new Apple TV app is now the place for you. Next, if you subscribe to cable or satellite TV, like Spectrum, DirecTV, or Optimum, or one of the new internet live TV providers, you can now access all of your sports, news, and network TV right inside the Apple TV app. For so many people, these cable bundles are convenient because you can get access to hundreds of channels for just one price. If you want it all, there's no better way. But for some of us, the big bundle is more than we need. So we designed a new TV experience where you could pay for only the channels you want, all in one app with the password you already have. Watch everything on demand and ad free. Download your shows to take with you anywhere. Enjoy the highest quality picture and sound available and share this great experience with your entire family. This is how TV should work. Now it does with Apple TV channels. Only the channels you want, on demand, ad-free, for the entire family. And all of it is inside the new Apple TV app. We're launching Apple TV channels like HBO, Showtime, Stars, Epics, CBS All Access, and everything else you see here. And we'll be adding even more around the world. So to recap, whether you get your TV from a live stre a streaming service like Prime Video, Hulu, or ESPN Plus, movies from iTunes, sports, news, and network TV from cable or satellite, or shows from HBO, Showtime, and stars with the new Apple TV channels. It's all together in one place, Apple TV app. And because there is so much to watch all in this one place, we've redesigned the Apple TV app to make it even simpler to find what you love. Let's dig in. Your home in the Apple TV app is Watch Now. Most of the time we watch TV, we want to watch our show or tonight's game or maybe finish the movie we started last night. That's where the up next row comes in. All of these things you watch, no matter where they come from, are here in Up Next. It makes it so easy to pick up right where you left off. But what do you do when you're all caught up on your shows? If you know what you want to watch next, it's easy. Just use Siri. But if you don't know what to watch, well, that's where the new Apple TV app really shines. Our expert editors are like that friend you have that always knows the best shows on TV. Every day, they do the work for you so you can just watch the good stuff. But when it comes to TV, each of us is unique. That's why the new Apple TV app is personalized 
for you. We use advanced machine learning to understand what you like to watch, some of the subscriptions you already have, so we can help you find your next favorite show. And of course, the new Apple TV channels are available too. So when you subscribe to a channel like Showtime, everything from that channel is in one place. It's so easy to browse, and you can play all of it right inside the Apple TV app. No more bouncing from app to app. <laughs> Moving beyond Watch Now, we've also created a new home for movies. So you can buy or rent iTunes movies like Bumblebee, or you can watch Ocean's 8 from your new Apple Channel subscription to HBO. All your favorite movies are here. The Apple TV app is also great for sports fans. You can see current games with live scores, check out tonight's matchups, and even get notifications when your favorite team is having a close game. To show you some of the cool new stuff the Apple TV app can do, I'd like to bring out Cindy Lin, Director of Program Management. Cindy? Thanks, Peter. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to show you the new Apple TV app. The app is right here on my home screen. Let's dive in. Everything I'm watching is here and up next. I can pick up where I left off in The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, watch the next episode of Project Runway, or finish watching Bumblebee. I get my cable from Spectrum, and I also have Hulu and Prime Video. It's all right here in the Apple TV app. There's so much to watch. When I want to find something new, this is where the app really helps me out. It's always getting smarter about what I like. The recommendations in For You are personalized just for me. I love Sandra O, oh, and I've been hearing so much about this show. I'm definitely adding this to my up next to watch later. One of my favorite features is this new way to browse TV. Swiping is just like channel surfing, except every show here is one I actually want to watch. And trailers play right here. My father was a lighthouse keeper. My mother was a queen. But life is a way of bringing people together. I love Jason Momoa in Game of Thrones, and I can't wait to watch Aquaman. There's already so much here, and it's so easy to add even more with Apple TV channels. Everybody's been talking about the new season of Billions on Showtime, and I need to get caught up. I can start my free trial right here. It's just a couple of clicks, and then I'm done. That's it. That was so easy. Now, everything from Showtime is here in the Apple TV app, and I can start watching right away. There's nothing else to set up. I can skip the intro to get right to the action. Okay, no spoilers. I'm going to pick this back up again later for my up next. So I have a five-year-old son, and there's a brand new kid's experience for us. All of my son's favorite characters are here. There's Chase from Paw Patrol, Daniel Tiger, and of course, everyone from Sesame Street. There are so many episodes here, even the ones that I watched as a kid. And whether we want to learn something new be inspired by other kids, or just let our imaginations run wild. I love that we have a safe place to explore together. So that's a quick look at the new Apple TV app. It's the best place to watch TV on all of my devices, and I can't wait for you to try it. Back to you, Peter. Thanks, Cindy. Now that you've seen the new Apple TV app, you're going to want it 
on all your screens. You just saw it on Apple TV 4K. It looks and sounds stunning on iPad. And everything you saw is amazing on iPhone. So for all those moments in between, whether you're on your way to work or just stealing a moment for yourself, all your shows are always with you. You'll be able to get this new experience, including Apple TV channels, on all these devices through a software update this May. And I'm so excited to tell you that for the first time, we're bringing the Apple TV app to the Mac this fall. And that's not all. We know you're going to want this great experience on every screen in your home. So we're doing something we've never done before. We're bringing the Apple TV app to smart TVs. We're launching the same great experience with Samsung this spring, followed by Sony, LG, and Vizio, all the biggest names in smart TVs. And we're even bringing the Apple TV app to Roku and Amazon, so everyone can have an Apple TV experience on every screen. Today, the Apple TV app is available in 10 countries, but we're bringing the all new experience to our customers around the world in over 100 countries. The Apple TV app delivers on all these principles, including our commitment that we won't share your personal information with anyone. So that's the new Apple TV app. Your apps, movies, cable, the all new Apple TV channels, all in one place on all your screens. Back to you, Tim. Thank you, Peter. The new features of the Apple TV app look really great. But we have even more to contribute to the TV experience. Apple has always tried to make the world a better place. And we believe deeply in the power of creativity. Our products help people express their creativity and to tell their stories. Because great stories can change the world. Great stories can move us and inspire us. They can surprise us and challenge our assumptions. We feel we can contribute something important to our culture and to society through great storytelling. So we partnered with the most thoughtful, accomplished, and award-winning group of creative visionaries who have ever come together in one place to create a new service unlike anything that's been done before. Apple TV Plus. We have two amazing people that are running this effort for us. Zach Van Amberg and Jamie Ehrlich, and I'm very pleased to introduce you to them now and ask them to tell you all about this incredible new service. Guys? Thanks, Tim. Thank you. Thank you. Jamie and I are so excited to be here with all of you today. As Tim said, great stories can change the world. And that's because great stories connect us. They connect us to each other. They connect us to new ideas. And they even connect us to new worlds and cultures we've never experienced. Now that's important, and it's powerful, and helps connect us to something bigger than who we are as individuals. At Apple, we know that great stories begin and end with the incredible artists who tell them, the artists who are thoughtful enough and brave enough to share their best story with us and the world. 
We thought you'd like to meet a few of these exceptional artists as we begin to share our vision for a new service dedicated to the best stories ever told. We've asked a few of them to speak about their inspiration and creative process. Because if we're going to contribute, inspire, challenge assumptions, and change the world, we need to examine the art of great storytelling and the mindset of the greatest storytellers. Have a look. Want me to help you find your opening? Well, I would do this. I would start with a black screen and I would put a little speck of light in the center of the black screen. I have the light grow in intensity. And then like the big bang, it explodes. Life often makes no sense. There's something about stories that gives a sense of order and purpose to the world and allows us to live other lives than the life we're living. The best ideas that I've had have come to me when I have least expected them. They're always intruders, but they're welcome intruders. Once you get an idea in your head, it just keeps nagging at you until you express it. That's the feeling of the idea, that it just becomes irrational. There's a woman sitting in a car in a field. Now I need to know why she's sitting there. I begin to believe that there's something of myself that I can share with an audience. If I'm thrilled, that's a good sign. If I'm laughing, that's a good beginning. It's the spark. It's the living with the thing. It's the outlining of it. I find writing to be the hardest part. Writing and rewriting for months or years. She dies. No, she lives. He dies. The first draft, the second draft, the third draft, the fourth draft, the fifth draft, the sixth draft, da 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 yada 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 yada. Then you begin to build the collaboration that will help you go on that voyage. You've got to find the cast of your dreams. For every character that I decide to do, I envision memories for them. I create the dimensions of who this woman is. Imagine if you were this person, and imagine if you lived in that world. You have to think about the environment that the story exists in. How are you going to create that environment? What's the look going to be? What's the tone? What's the palette? How's it going to work? The costumes, the props, the set design. Little by little, and the elements start to come together and build on each other. It's electric and amazing. You know, the thing is becoming alive. You walk onto the set and you smell this amazing aroma of sawdust, wood, and plaster. It just sort of disappeared into this fantasy world. So then you have to think, well, how are you going to shoot this thing? Because you're not going to shoot a movie chronologically. So you're often starting the movie shooting the most dramatic, most painful, most agonizing scene first. My anxiety often starts at about 3 o'clock in the morning. The wheels have started to turn. There is an excitement and a dread. You definitely go in with a very concrete sense of what you're aiming for. Then you have to be willing to throw it all away. Nothing I'm doing is good. Nothing is working. The shot goes up and it's not right. And that's, that's torture. It's not a big deal when it's just you and a pad of paper, but when it's countless numbers of talented people who are all waiting around and the sun is going away. You're under so much time pressure and you're kind of holding your breath. Tick, 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 tick. The pressure is on and it's, it's, it's horrifying. Fear is good. At least for me, it's good. The fear of failure is a kind of octane that keeps me wanting to stand on the edge of the abyss, but at the same time not plunge to my career death. It's all falling apart. And I'm possibility of years. There are those moments when the actor is sitting there and she's doing the thing, the thing that inspired you months, sometimes years earlier. Everyone is quiet and the crew's just focused and everyone's done their job to get you to this moment. Somehow everything is in sync. There's truth pumping through your veins and into the story that you're telling. There is no greater moment than that when you feel that you are really cruising and you're one organism telling one story and you're all telling it with each other's contributions. Nobody's telling it alone. The sun is in the perfect place. Like the birds go right where you can never, Like There are moments where you're like, it, it's impossible. Finally, you wrap the project. 
and then it goes out into the world and you hope that all of these decisions that you were part of, that you collaborated on, it will move people and touch people in a way that it seemed like it was inevitable. Nothing works if the themes don't connect with the audience. They have to. Sharing stories with one another makes us feel less alone. Everyone deserves to have their story be told. That's what makes us special, is the tapestry of who we are as human beings. To become involved in someone else's life. That's the idea of what a story should be. A story should make you forget your surroundings, should make you forget your agenda, your day, and hopefully makes you forget yourself. grateful to be here today. Um, this is my first time at Apple. Uh, it, you know, the place where imagination and technology join forces to change the world through sight and sound and touch. Now, my first encounter with science fiction came from an anthology magazine called Amazing Stories. And this magazine had been in existence for since 1926. And my father uh, had devoured it when he was a boy. And when I was a little kid, he read this to me. And the stories he read me were, as the title promised, amazing, or so it seemed uh, to a five-year-old me. And it's relatively easy to inspire amazement in the head and heart of a child. Uh, kids enter into the booming confusion of life with a prodigious capacity for amazement. And that amazement, that capacity, is a human birthright. It's our inheritance. It's how our interaction with the marvelous world around us gets sparks flying across our brains. And thanks to the visionary and inventive folks here at Apple, my Amblin team and I are going to be resurrecting this 93-year-old brand and offering to multi-generational audiences a whole new batch of amazing stories. And we want to transport the audience with every episode like the World War II pilot whose plane magically travels through space and time from the past and into the present day. Who will he meet? Can he return? Does he want to? What happens if he doesn't? It's the universal human trait to search for meaning. So in these disconnected stories, we think the audience will find that one compelling narrative that will make the first season of Amazing Stories into a single thematic experience for them, and I hope for all of you, too. Thank you. to be a part of this exciting launch with Apple, officially announcing our new project, The Morning Show. So in The Morning Show, we pull back the curtain on the power dynamics between men and women in the high stakes world of morning news shows. It's a real insider's view into the lives of the people who help America wake up every day. And through the prism of those underslept, over adrenalized people behind and in front of the camera, we take an honest look at the complex relationships between women and men in the workplace, and we engage in the conversation people are a little too afraid to have unless they are behind closed doors. Ah, oh, hello? Am I late? <laughs> Hi, 
Hello. Steve? Hi. I just, I saw the two of you on screen up there, and I, I didn't know if it was my turn or not. Okay. No, no. Steve, I, we have to tell you, we're so thrilled that you're a part of the show, because honestly, you can't have honest, uh, an honest look at complex relationships between men and women with just women. Well, I am just happy to provide the manliness. <laughs> Yes, the morning show is seen through the eyes of two ambitious, aspirational female characters. And a prominent male. Yes. 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 A prominent male character, yes. Yeah. Steve, why don't you say something about your character? He's very bold and very dynamic. Yes, but even more importantly, Jen, he's bold and dynamic. He has a lot of gravitas. He's a great listener. Yeah. He's also relatable and extremely handsome. Okay. His colleagues love him, and America loves him. He also... He's surrounded by an exciting ensemble of other characters, all from the very brilliant mind of Carrie Aaron, our writer-producer. Mm. She created... <clears throat> Incidentally, she created a very bold, dynamic character for me. Steve, is there anything else that you want to add? No. Okay. Okay, the morning show is a high-velocity thrill ride in which we pose questions without easy answers and shine a light on the fault lines in our society at this very complicated cultural moment. All of this and the chance for us to collaborate again has brought me back to television, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> and so we can't wait to show all of you what we have been cooking up. So be on the lookout for the morning show. We are so thankful to be here. I'm pretty stoked. Um, I'd like to try something with everyone. So please close your eyes just for a moment. Just close them. I want you to experience something. Try to think about the world this way. Heard, touched, smelled, sensed, but without sight. Imagine every human experience available to you. Love, joy, discovery, terror, despair, and hope. Imagine it was all experienced this way. Heard, touched, smelled, tasted, even, but not seen. Now open your eyes. And let me spoil this a little bit. You have no idea what that would be like. Neither do I. Being blind isn't something that can get turned on and off. It's a part of who you are, it's a part of your soul. And now while you're at it, imagine a world evolved, designed, and built to be experienced without sight. We did, and it yielded the world, the world to see. From the unfettered imagination of Stephen Knight, C takes place in a world in which the earth was devastated by a virus that left only a few million survivors. And those survivors, each and every one of them, emerged blind. Our story begins centuries later, at which point the human race has existed for so long without sight, it's disputed whether such a thing ever existed. In this world, we are going to have our evil queens, brave heroes, and thrilling adventure. But beyond the adventure, C will ask questions you may have already started asking yourselves just now with your eyes closed. How much of my experience of the world is visual? Without sight, would it change who I am? This is a world constructed unlike any you've ever experienced. C is a journey wherein we may discover something entirely new about ourselves, about our world. As a result, we cannot wait for you to join us on this journey.
I, uh, I grew up in Karachi, Pakistan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pakistan's in the house, hi. What I knew of America, I learned from Hollywood movies and American TV shows. So when I was moving to America at the age of 18, I was excited. I was excited about the idea of being dwarfed by skyscrapers that would loom above the horizon to herald my arrival. Then I landed in Iowa. Okay, Iowa's here too. And I thought, this is very different from the America in movies. You don't, you guys don't lead with that America, you know? I'd missed the one movie that would have prepared me for that America, Iowa, Field of Dreams. Did not see that one. I was like, this is false advertising. This is not the America I was promised. I was one of two Pakistanis at the college I went to, but I found common ground with people. Uh, my love of Springsteen, their curiosity about how to say various swear words in Urdu. Um, she could help you out too. I once made a huge bo uh, I once made a huge pot of this Pakistani beef stew called Halim. And, uh, and I misread the recipe and put in twice the amount of chili powder. I lost a lot of friends that day. They, they didn't like die. They just wished they were dead. Eventually, I moved to Chicago and I did what every American does. I struggled to pay rent, fell in love, got jobs, lost jobs, got a cat, burned food, disappointed my parents, and tried to figure out what to do with my life. Normal, everyday life stuff. When people defend immigration, they focus on the exceptionality of immigrants. Albert Einstein was an immigrant. Joseph Pulitzer was an immigrant. While those stories are inspiring and valuable, we wanted to focus on the immigrants doing everyday life stuff. Little America is an anthology series inspired by the true stories of immigrants in the US. Here's the thing, We're, it's not about telling like immigrant stories. These are human stories that feature immigrants. When you get to know someone and start to see your struggles and their struggles, your passions and theirs, your problems and theirs, they stop being the other. I, along with my partners, Emily Gordon, Lee Eisenberg, Alan Yang, and Epic Magazine, wanted to make a show that did just that. Because ultimately, we're all looking for the same thing, food, Home, meaning, love. Like the emotional story of a young Indian boy living in Utah whose parents achieved the American dream of running their own motel until they were suddenly deported. 12-year-old Kunal wasn't going to let his parents' dream die, so this young boy secretly ran the motel for the next 10 years on his own while simultaneously plotting his quest to get his parents back to the U.S. Okay, true story, he competed in the National Spelling Bee so that he could meet First Lady Laura Bush and ask for help. And he came in 13th and he actually got to meet her. He did. I know you guys are like, 13th doesn't sound that impressive, but he was running a motel at the time too. And he speaks a whole other language. Did Laura Bush help him? Tune in and find out. <laughs> Little America will cover the full range of human emotions. Some episodes are funny, some are romantic, some are thrilling. They feature immigrants from Iran, Syria, Nigeria, Mexico, and more, and are set all over America, from Texas to Oklahoma to California. The majority of the writers and directors are either immigrants or the children of immigrants. Yeah. On set, one of our actors said to Emily, I've been acting for decades, but I've never gotten to be in every scene. <laughs> How awesome is that? <laughs> we hope Little America will help viewers understand that there is no such thing as the other, there is only us. Which is why at this moment in history, we are excited that we get to tell these stories with Apple. Connecting humanity is in their DNA. The immigrant dream is the American dream. 
Connecting through our stories will give us a better understanding of each other, an understanding that allows us to live together, eat each other's food, maybe learn some fun new ways of swearing. And that is the America I was promised. We can't wait for you to see our little America. Thank you. you don't know who I am, I'm Big Bird. Uh, I think I'm in the right place to meet my new friend Cody, but I'm not sure. She gave me directions to, to get here. She said, first, turn right at Hooper's store, then take a left at Oscar's trash can, and then keep going straight till you see Apple Park. I love circles, by the way. So, uh, uh where is she? Here I am, Big Bird! Oh. Hi, everybody! Hi, Cody! Hi. I'm great. Hey, thanks for helping me get here. That's what I do, Big Bird. I'm a helpster. A monster who loves to help. Hey, I'm glad you're here because I wanted to tell you and everyone here some very special news. Okay, let's hear it. Yeah? Well, the peeps at Sesame Workshop and Apple have teamed up to make an incredible new preschool show starring me. It's called Helpsters. Oh. Yeah. See? Oh, thank you. Oh, gosh. Never had a live stream platform before. See, helping is my favorite thing to do. Yeah, my helpster friends and I just love to help anyone with any problem, no matter how large or small. From uh, making instruments for a band to teaching a friend how to fly their first kite. And you know how we do it? How? We use the big ideas behind coding to solve problems. You don't say. I do say. Well, do you think you could uh, you could help teach me? Oh, I already did. Huh? You know those directions I gave you? Yeah. Well, directions are one of the building blocks of coding. See, coding fosters collaboration, critical thinking skills, and is an essential language that every child can learn. By teaching preschoolers about coding, we're giving them the opportunity to change the world. Yeah. world, world, world. You know, in, in their own special way. <laughs> oh, and did I mention we also have cool music and funky dance moves? <laughs> Boy, I want to watch that show. Oh, and you're helping kids grow up to be smarter, stronger, and kinder. And more creative, too. We just want to make a difference in children's lives. Just like how you and all your friends on Sesame Street have done for all these nice people when they were kids and continue to do today. Oh. Yep. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. It sure is, Big Bird. Okay, so do you remember those directions to get home? Uh, I think so. Hey, do you want to come with me? Of course. Let's go. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Uh, I feel incredibly lucky to be here today. Ah! Oh. Get a chance to collaborate with Sarah, whose music Wee. has moved me for years, and with Apple is an actual thrill. A couple years ago, I ran into Jay, and we talked about my experiences as a singer-songwriter: the struggles, the drama, the insanity. And he asked if I had ever thought about creating a series about that world. I had not at all. But I heard myself say, "Yes, JJ, of course I have." Good, good, good. Sarah Burles is a liar. That's the message I hope to communicate. Okay. We brought in Jesse Nelson, Sarah's writing partner, a musical waitress. We talked about music, but also about that, that terrifying, thrilling, absurdly wonderful and often embarrassing time when, as a young person, you venture out to the world for the first time. So this was the beginning of our new series, Little Voice. 
a funny romantic show about the reality of what is hard and wonderful and transformative about being a young woman who has to ultimately find her place as an artist, but also as a person through music. Sarah, of course, might be lying to you, so. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> The main character is a promising, flawed young woman, a musician living in New York, in and around a vibrant community of young, hopeful artists, family and friends, soulmates and bandmates, learning to find herself and her own true voice. Anyone who's ever given everything they have to go after a dream will feel like this show was written for them. And how lucky for the series, we have Sarah is not just a creator we. and producer, but also a composer. The theme song says it all. Imagine we're honored to be working with such amazing and talented people. And that's just the beginning. We've partnered with the most accomplished storytellers, as well as a new generation of the most exciting voices, who together will define Apple TV Plus as the destination for the highest quality originals. The original shows and movies will intellectually challenge and thrill. Define and redefine our expecta expectations. Inspire us. Make us laugh. Transform our mood and brighten our day. But make us believe anything is possible. From documentaries to dramas, from kids to comedies, the highest quality of storytelling in one single place. This is Apple TV Plus. Stand by three. Stand by one, make your move. Seven. Ready? Six. Eight. Eight. Oh. Ready. Five. Four. Three. Two.
So that's a first look at Apple TV+. Plus. It's not just another streaming service. It is the destination where the world's greatest storytellers will bring their best ideas to life. And you'll be able to experience all these original shows and movies right on the dynamic new Apple TV app. And the TV app will deliver Apple TV Plus across all your Apple devices and the biggest screen in your life on smart TVs. So here's a few more details. Apple TV Plus is an ad-free subscription service. It's on demand, available online and offline. Everything's downloadable. The best in entertainment with exclusive original movies and shows with new additions every single month. It's available in 100 plus countries. It's a global service. And it's all starting this fall. Apple TV Plus will define commitment to quality storytelling all in one place on every screen in your life. We are so excited to share our vision of Apple TV Plus and can't wait for you to experience Dad. it. For yourself. Thank you. Good day. Thanks, everybody. One, two, three. Thank Four, you, Jamie. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The world. This is just a sneak peek, the beginning of something Dad, very exciting. I love you. The opportunity to work with all of these exceptional artists is truly inspiring. Each will bring their own unique perspective to the stories they tell. Now, we have one more remarkable storyteller to share with you this morning. One whose voice illustrates how powerful stories can change lives and change the world. has never been a moment quite like this one. We have this unique opportunity to rise to our best selves in how we use and choose to use both our technology and our humanity. We're all at a crossroads where we get to decide if we want to reach beyond the borders of our hearts and minds to face the daunting challenges of our time. Each of us comes to this earth with a deep potential that yearns to be fulfilled, with a love to be set free. We all crave connection. We search for common ground. We want to be heard, but we also need to listen. 
to open, be open, and contribute in order to harness our hopes and dreams and to heal our divisions. That's why I have joined forces with Apple. Because they're the company that has reimagined how we communicate. I've joined in order to serve this moment because the Apple platform allows me to do what I do in a whole new way, to take everything I've learned about connecting to people to the next level. Because they're in a billion pockets, y'all, a billion pockets. <laughs> The whole world's got them in their hands. And that represents a major opportunity to make a genuine impact. So I am proud and honored to be a part of this new platform where I can connect with people around the world to share meaningful ways to create positive change. My intention is to illuminate consciousness and to build greater awareness through compelling conversations with newsmakers, with leaders, with artists, with people in all walks of life. I want to reach that, that sweet spot where insight and perspective, truth and tolerance actually intersect. So I have two documentaries in the works right now. One exploring the toll of sexual harassment, assault, and violation in the workplace. The working title is Toxic Labor. The other, yet unnamed, multi-part series focuses on mental health and how the scourge of depression and anxiety, post-traumatic stress, addiction, trauma, and loss is just devastating lives daily across the globe. And what I know is if we do our jobs right, we're gonna replace shame and we're gonna replace stigma with wisdom, with some compassion, and with honesty. Now, for what I love the most, for me, there's nothing more thrilling than being transported by a brilliant book. Nothing. And the only thing actually more gratifying than an extraordinary read is being able to share that experience with others. And we're going to do just that by building the biggest, the most vibrant, the most stimulating book club on the planet. It is a club. Listen to this. Imagine where Apple stores stream a conversation with the author and me live across all devices, across all borders, uniting people to stories that remind us that no matter who you are or where you're from, every man, woman, and child looks up in awe at the same sky. So I want to literally convene a meeting of the minds connecting us through books. For as long as I can remember, I've had this dream that for us all to someday realize that deep potential that we are each born to. It abides in every soul. I know this to be true. And my deepest hope is that we all, humans, get to become the fullest, fullest version of ourselves as human beings, to join in the mission and vision for our common good, to leave this world more enlightened, kinder, and better than we found it, and to move together one billion plus strong into a future of our own design, all connected through Apple! Okay. 
Oprah joins these amazingly passionate and award-winning artists. These are people who we admire for their unique voices, incredible creativity, and wonderfully diverse perspectives. They've impacted our culture, society, and we're so excited and so humbled to be working with them. We can't wait to hear all of the incredible stories that they're going to tell. What a fun morning. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, from everything we've shared with you, you can see how important these services are for us and for all the ways they extend the experiences of our customers even further. They entertain, inspire, inform, and enrich our lives. Because at Apple, the customer is and always will be at the center of everything that we do. Now, before I close, I'd like everyone from Apple that works so hard in making today possible to stand up so that we can recognize you. They've sacrificed a lot to get us to this day, and I sincerely thank you. It's, a, it's amazing the, the privilege of a lifetime that I have to be able to work with all of them. I want to thank everyone for coming. I want to thank all the artists that, that came out today and, and shared time with us. And most of all, thank you to all the folks watching, our customers. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>
ഏതാ വൈകിട്ട് ഒമ്പതരയുടെ മീറ്റിംഗ് കയറിയിട്ട് തീരുമാനിക്കാം അപ്പൊ സംസാരിക്കുമ്പോ അറിയാലോ